Hey alligators, what's up? It's Sally Hardesty and today's video is going to be a rants video. Whenever I do rants, they're usually story time-ish, like geared towards a certain experience I had or a life lesson, but today's rant is more so going to be about my current thoughts, feelings, and emotions towards YouTube, and I guess what it's like to be a YouTuber. So if you guys haven't heard of my friend Sierra, I'm doing a virtual collab with her today. You guys might have seen her on my channel before or on my Instagram, etc. She's dope, she's awesome, and she's going to be talking about the same thing, so make sure you check out her channel when you're done. I'm gonna have her channel and her video linked in the description box, so check her out, go subscribe, and yeah, you guys are gonna love her. So getting into this video, I'm gonna get a little bit vulnerable just because of the fact that this is something that sincerely bothers me and I wanna open up about, but it's hard because this is such an all over the place topic. So where do I even begin? If you haven't been watching my channel for very long, let me just fill you in on where I came from, like how I got here. I have been making videos for around a year now and around a month or two after I started my channel, like posting videos, I blew up. I had a couple story times that went viral in the same month and so that got me my following. I went from having my immediate friends and family, like less than 100 people watching, to tens of thousands of people and now over 100,000 in around a year time span, which believe it or not, YouTube is super hard to grow on so some people do easier than others. I just got lucky in my opinion. I didn't know that social media could be a career. I didn't understand how any of it works. So I've learned a lot in this past year. And to be honest, sometimes I still feel like I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but this is my dream job. YouTube has given me a purpose. It's given me a platform. It's given me everything. I am so eternally grateful for everyone who clicks on my videos and watches and cares and subscribes because I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for you guys. So I wanna start off by saying that because I don't want this video to come off as negative. You have all these drama channels trying to expose people bringing up stuff from their past or singling them out for one mistake they made and holding it over their head for the rest of their life. You know, they have the receipts. They're like investigating people's lives, like going in so deep, invading people's privacy. And it's ridiculous. It scares the crap out of me. Like if that were to ever happen to me, God forbid, I don't have anything to hide, but I'm just not about that. Like we are normal people. I think people forget that sometimes they hold us to like this high standard of almost like a celebrity status. Obviously not me, but the bigger YouTubers, you know what I mean? Like the people who go on tour, who are at the red carpet, shows etc you see on TV they're basically celebrity status and the thing about youtubers as compared to celebrities like real actors and actresses we broadcast our lives so we share a lot of our personal information but who said we were required to share everything like I can keep some stuff private and that's another problem I have is differentiating how much of my life to share on social media and how much to keep like behind the scenes but then if we don't share everything we get exposed right like it's kind of crazy to me also I have a problem with knowing how much is too much when it comes to social media because I work easily at least 40 hours a week between filming and editing etc not to mention I'm always answering DMs and talking on Twitter and Instagram and just putting work into my actual channel and I think that people don't realize as youtubers part of our job in my opinion is to be talking to you guys and interacting because we're not a-list celebrities we're people who want to help others or at least I do and give advice etc so I'm answering DMs all the time of people who say they want to kill themselves or they're dealing with stuff and even if I'm in a really bad place at the time or I'm busy I have to respond to those DMs because that's my responsibility as a YouTuber and as a role model to people who are coming to me asking for help and that's what I want to do and that's basically what I signed up for essentially. Not necessarily because I didn't think I was going to gain a following or any of this stuff, like I didn't ask for any of this, but I have that now. So this is my responsibility. So I'm constantly all the time talking to you guys. There's subscribers who even have my phone number. It's just a lot because I don't really talk to my friends in real life as much as compared to subscribers. But it's also my work, so that's like an excuse in my brain why I talk to them so much because it's like, oh, it's my work. And also people bash me if I don't answer DMs. Like people are like, oh, she got too famous for us. Like, do you know how many DMs I get? And do you know that I also have college work to deal with and I need to sleep and shower and eat and I live stream every day and I have a bunch of other stuff on my plate. So it's a lot of pressure. And I hate that we're looked at under a microscope because we are no different than other people who are not putting their lives on YouTube. And again, how much is too much when it comes to personal information that we're sharing, you know, or how much is too much when it comes to the time that we're investing into our subscribers as compared to our family members and friends and people that we know in real life, not just on the internet. For me, it's been really hard to balance and there's been a lot of people in my life who were friends with me before YouTube that haven't really been too understanding about that and it's hard for me because it's like, this is what makes me happy. Why can't you just be happy for me and be understanding that like, this is no different than you going to Starbucks in the morning. like. This is my job, you know what I mean? I hate that I have to explain that to people who are in my life because they're supposed to be my friends, you know? 
Also, a lot of people that I was never friends with or never really even knew before YouTube try to be my best friend now. Just suddenly they have this newfound interest and want to hang out with me all the time. I went to a party over the weekend with my friends and the first thing anyone said to me when I got there was, oh, you're that famous YouTuber. I get this sort of thing all the time, not like I have paparazzi or like I have like people who watch me like all over the place, but like with over 100,000 subscribers, like it just happens. Plus like I'm pretty much the only YouTuber that I know of in this area whatsoever because I live in the middle of nowhere in Northern California. So it is one of those things that's like a little bit uncommon. So people just kind of like know about it and stuff. That's the first thing anyone says to me. That's the only thing people want to talk to me about at this party and no one else there can relate. I'm not there with some Viners or some users or other people who do social media. Like I'm there with my friends who were in college and it just singles me out and makes me feel like an alien and I don't like being talked to as if I'm any different from anyone else. Like if you have a genuine interest in my channel, that's awesome. But people just go overboard with it and it makes me feel really uncomfortable when they're calling me out in front of a bunch of people like, oh, this girl does YouTube, this girl has a channel, this girl has over 100,000 subscribers, like she's famous. And then I'm just like, cool, okay. And I get a bunch of questions. How much money do you make? Oh, who have you met through YouTube? How did you start your channel? I'm thinking about starting a channel. Maybe we could do a collab together. <laughs> when people ask that, I don't think they mean it in a bad way, but it is really intrusive. And when I'm answering questions like that and I'm talking about YouTube to people because that's all they want to talk to me about and that's all they ask me about, I don't want people to think that I think I'm like some celebrity talking about my YouTube channel all the time because I don't want it to be like that because it already comes up in normal conversation enough just because it's what I do all the time. Like I literally am always filming, always editing, and it's a big part of my life. So it comes up by default anyways when I meet people, even if I don't really want it to. So when people always make the conversation about YouTube, it just makes me feel a certain way. I don't want to feel different. And this probably sounds so stupid, but if you're a YouTuber, you might know what I'm referring to. Like it makes me feel super, super awkward, especially because sometimes I feel like people are being sarcastic about it. And then sometimes people genuinely are like, she's famous. And I'm just like, no, I'm not like, no, like what I do is serious. It's not a joke. So don't be a jerk about it. And what I do, it's not, I'm not doing anything special or like crazy. Like I just have a YouTube channel. So it's like, I feel in between about it. Like I'm proud of what I do but I don't think I'm the shit and I also don't think it's a joke. I take it seriously, this is my business and I feel like people fall into one of those two categories. They're just like, oh, she's famous or they're like, oh my God, she's famous and it's like, no, no. <laughs> I just make videos on the internet and I think it's so hard for people to grasp that concept and it's hard for me and I think that's why a lot of YouTubers do move to LA because then they are surrounded by a lot of people who get them and understand them and understand what they do. But at the same time, I don't really want to move to LA and be a part of all that because I feel like in a way it might desensitize me from who I was before YouTube and before social media because it's really easy to get sucked into all that. This video is all over the place, so I really hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. For example, the other day I was at dinner with a bunch of friends, like a bunch of new people I was meeting. Someone right when we get there, she's a famous YouTuber. All heads are on me. That's all anyone asked about for the rest of the dinner. And before that, like when I first got there, people were like kind of mingling with me, but it was around like normal topics such as college or the weather, things like that. Right when that was said, everyone treated me differently. The rest of the dinner, that's all that was brought up. Like even if I changed the subject, people just kept asking questions and I didn't want to be rude. So I kept having to answer them. And I don't like people looking at me differently because then a lot of the time people are just like, oh, huh. well, you know, I hate my job. Like, why do you love what you do so much? And it makes me feel bad. And it's like, honestly, anyone could do what I do, but I put in so much freaking work. I've invested a ton of my time, a ton of money, et cetera, into getting a camera and to making sure that I have time to film, edit, upload. It's a real thing for me. And I honestly deserve the success that I have had because I've earned it. No one handed it to me. Like I've worked my butt off. And I also hate that I feel like I can't live a normal life because if I mess up, if I do something wrong and I get exposed, then there's my career. It's shot. And this could be anything. This could literally be me tweeting something and it being taken the wrong way. Like people get so offended nowadays and I could so easily mess this up. And I think that there's definitely a lot of people who would love to see me fail and who would love to see me lose what I'm doing right now and like have this totally flop. But so far it's been going pretty good for me and I am really proud of myself. So overall, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys and say that it's okay to be proud of yourself and take pride in what you're doing. I'm still the same person that I was a year ago filming in my dorm. Things haven't changed at all, even if it looks that way because I got equipment or I have an apartment now or I've met other YouTubers or I've grown because that's going to happen. My channel's going to keep growing, I, I hope. 
hopefully. I mean, I would like it to, and I would like to keep on doing what I'm doing, but that doesn't mean that I change as a person. And so when I've had friends who have said that I changed, it's honestly BS. I haven't changed a bit. <laughs> I haven't changed a bit. I'm still the same person. This is just what I do, and it's a huge part of my life. And people who can't accept that, like, I don't know what to tell you. And people who just want to be my friend because of it, I wish you'd get to know me and know that I'm actually a really cool person even before I had a YouTube like I'm still the same person you watch on camera now so it just gives me mixed feelings and it makes me feel like it's gonna be hard for me to like have a relationship or like build friendships with new people who don't want me in their life just because of my followers and maybe I'm just really weary of that because it's happened to me a lot and maybe some people really don't care and they just want to be my friend but like it makes you paranoid like it really does and the way a lot of people view me as being this big youtuber i don't want it to affect the way that other people view me because people view me that way just because i have like fans and people who comment on my stuff or like support me i don't want people who are my friends in real life to think oh because of that she must think that she's a celebrity because i totally don't and anyone who actually hangs out with me and knows me in real life will tell you that that i'm so down to earth i don't think that at all but it really really bothers me if anyone were to think that about me because i don't think that about myself i don't like labels i don't like being called oh the youtuber that's the youtuber no i'm ali i'm ali hardesty nice to meet you like i'm no different from anyone else here i i don't have 10 million subscribers like calm down like chill it's fine it's fine and i'm not saying that everyone looks at me like that because trust me a lot of people probably look at me as the complete opposite just because i do youtube they're automatically going to look at me like i'm nobody and i think i'm somebody but i don't think of anybody i'm the same exact person before youtube but youtube has opened my eyes to how fake a lot of people can be in both ways out of jealousy or because they have a hidden agenda and they want something out of me i don't want my worth to be based off the amount of followers i have and i don't want people's perception of me to change once they find out that i'm a youtuber i've had people tell me that i'm not a real youtuber unless i'm getting millions of views on like every video that i post i've had people tell me that I'm not anything until I hit 100,000 subscribers, and guess what I did, and right before I hit 100,000, they tried to be like best friends with me, so that was weird, um, ironic, I, I don't understand it, people are always trying to find a way to discredit everything you've worked for, whether it's YouTube or something else, I've just learned that throughout my life, if people can't be happy for you, they're not really your friends, so cut them out. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, as well as follow my social media. I'll have it on the screen. And also check out Sierra's video. Again, it's linked below in the description box. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.